Good morning, um, and the following is um, uh, a short presentation from um, our team. Um, so, uh, my name is Ronan Foley from Maynooth University in Ireland, and our paper is on the role of nature in the built environment for health and well-being during COVID-19, a mixed method analysis from the Green Study. And you have a list there of the participants in the project, and we were a group from Spain, the United Kingdom and, and Ireland. Uh, the, the, the aim of the study was really to, to think about the pandemic response and in particular the role of nearby nature. So it was a, called the Green COVID Survey and it was a cross-sectional study from Spain, the UK and Ireland with a total um, respondent number of 3,127. And the aim was to look at the associations and describe them of, of the relationship between wellbeing and mental health with characteristics of the immediate natural and built environments. And this study is focused more specifically on, on adults in Ireland in the first wave of the pandemic. The actual predictors were built in natural environment characteristics such, such as housing uh, and a nearby green and blue space. And then the, the, the health outcome measures used were the Kessler Psychological Distress Tool for Mental Health and the WHO5 Wellbeing Index for Wellbeing. Um, just broadly speaking, to, to give you some of the broad results, on the right hand side you got the regression results and, and the most significant one were household problems. Uh, these were significant in terms of re reducing mental health and reducing well-being, uh, uh, reducing well-being as well. Um, and, and examples are listed there in the, in, over on the left hand side, such as noisy neighbours, poor insulation, bad spells, so that kind of effect of um, housing particularly. Now uh, the broad um, relationship in terms of regression between quality of view at home and quality of an, an outdoor space, having an outdoor space at home were also um, associated with improvements in mental health and well-being, though not significant, and also being in an urban space tended to reduce um, um, mental health and well-being. The other key um, indicator outcomes, I guess, are related to scorings from a range of 0 to 10 around the relationships with green and blue space and, and the outdoors. So there was a, a significant score of 8.5 uh, for the perceived contribution of being in, seeing or hearing the outdoors as, as, a, an, as an, an enabler in coping with COVID-19. And we also did a kind of a before and, and during COVID-19 set of questions that asked how important were views of blue and green space to people before or during pandemic and in both cases, um, those scores increased during the pandemic, i.e. there was a greater appreciation and they went from 7 to 7.8 for blue space and 7.7 uh, .7 to 8.8 uh, for uh, green space. So just two broad key messages at the end. We would argue that access to nature and appropriate household characteristics have enabled health and have been instrumental in helping people cope with the negative effects of the pandemic. Uh, and that's been across the three countries. Uh, and results think of the need for investment in green and blue infrastructures that promote equality and are accessible for all, irrespective of age, mobility, capacity, income and geographical location. Thank you.